Hi Floss Tube. This is Brenda and my channel is Handwork Maniac. Welcome back or welcome. Um, I love all kinds of handwork and I love to stitch. That's my favorite one over the years. The one I keep coming back to is cross stitch. We're in the middle of mania still, right? So let's see. First, I do have two whips that I keep working on during mania because they both had June deadlines. So I kept, I work on them a little bit every day before I do my mania project. The first one is um, the Christmas stocking from my daughter-in-law, Hannah, from the Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazines from the 80s and 90s. It was their heirloom stocking series. They're also available, their Better Homes and Gardens reprinted the patterns in a book twice, going out of print twice, and then they also, oh, throwing things on the floor, sorry. You can also get them on the Cooler Design Studio website, K-O-O-L-E-R, and 123 Stitch has started carrying some of the patterns as well from the Cooler Design Studio. I worked on this Wednesday, no. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday last week. I worked on the stove down here to this part and this cute little pot holder right here. And finished the stove top right here. So it's moving right along. That's good. And then my other whip is Petite House. And I worked on that on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It looks like this by Soda Stitch. I was just upstairs working on this. Today is Monday, May 13th, the day after Mother's Day. I'm working down here on the living room. There's a yellow couch with two pillows on it and a coffee table and this green rug. So that one's moving right along as well. Love the colors in that. Just really liking the bright colors. This one is on 40 count Silk Weaver Rainbow Linen. And the stocking is on the Called For 28 count Mushroom Lugana. And they are both using the Called For colors. Although I did notice on the stocking, the six, the gray range, the 640s. 645, 646, 647. I believe that's what it is. They're, the colors have changed a little bit over the years. The DMC color that they use, they've changed the way they do the dyes. So I'm noticing it's looking a little weird on this one. It'll be interesting. I need to have my oldest daughter, Catherine, bring her stocking over so I can compare the two to see if the, because the grays are looking funny to me. And then I was like, oh, 640 range changed a little bit over the years. So I think I have... I probably have one skein of the old colors, like 645 is the old colors and the 647 and 648 are the new colors, something like that, because I'm looking at them going, those don't blend as well as they used to, but it'll be fine. I'm not ripping it out. They look fine. It just made me laugh. That's what happens when you stitch a pattern from 30 years ago. Now, just have to watch that. But really, not a big deal. I think it, it looks fine. I'm going to leave it in. Okay, Mania, I showed you 1 through 4 last week. So today I'll do 5 through 12. I'm not going to show you today's number 13 yet because I haven't worked on it yet because I just got home from work. I'm really tired. May for work is stressful for me. It is a stressful month. May and August are the worst months for my job. So it wears me out. <laughs> so I haven't started my Mania stitch for today yet. So May 5th was Victorium Charm, which was a uh, one I started last year, but didn't finish. So I kept it for this year. And I did have a, a few minutes to work on it on May 5th. Worked on this part of the house right there. But that's where that one is so far. I love this one. It'll probably be my weekend whip after Mania is over and I get back to my normal rotation because I'd really like to finish that. 
Oh, May 6th. There's another whip. Hang on. hanging up on the wall and would not come off the hook. This is a stitcher's shelf. I have an unearth design. Looks like this. And it was a whip last year. I had already started it. And it will continue to be on my mania list, I think, for the foreseeable future. <laughs> and this is where I am so far. Just in that top right corner where there's a lot of flowers started on this purple book. This time I was able to get a lot of the purple book done down here and started on a... I don't know if you can see it, but it's a tiny little... Right here. I think it's a, a little wine bottle sitting on a table. I'm working on that wine bottle right there. That's where I am on that one. Right now my the full coverage piece that's in my normal rotation is the Disneyland piece that I'm doing. So when I finish that Disneyland piece, which I hope is this year. Then this one will go back to being my full coverage in the rotation. 300 stitches a, a week piece. May 7th was a new start called Summertime. Sorry, my bin is a mess. Hang on. It's by Stitch Rovia, Summertime. And I was just working on that top corner one that says this one that says picnic in the park. And that was how far I got. Loving this one. Such beautiful colors. This is my June, no, August. This piece I'll work on will be my focus piece in August. That was May 7th. May 8th was Autumn Garden by Drone Thread. This is a stitch along with Brian at Blit Stitch, B-L-I-T-S-T-I-T-C-H. He has a fabulous YouTube channel. He's stitching all four of these. And he started with winter. He's working on this one and is doing this fabulous stuff right here right now. He's going way faster than me on it. I started August, autumn, autumn <laughs> garden, which is this one. And I started in the middle right here on this house. And I've got that much done. This is on 40 count. The summertime piece is on even weave, 32 count white even weave. This one is on 40 count silk weaver sand color with the called for fancy silk threads. It has a MPI, dinky dyes, thread gatherer, Several different kinds of silk in that one. Water lilies. 
beautiful. That is, oh, that series. I'm going to do all four as well. I probably just don't, won't finish them as fast as Brian does, but oh, they're pretty. They are gorgeous. May 9th is Sleeping Mirabilia, Sleeping Princess. This is the, oh, I was going to say this is the second Mirabilia I've done this angel of love but now i can't remember if angel of love is lavender and lace or mirabilia i'm not sure it's the princess and the pea but the pattern is called sleeping princess oh i love the colors in this oh using the called for colors on it called for 32 count beach walk, but I was having a hard time finding that, so I'm using 32 count water lily, which is a really pretty light green, if you can't tell. It is really pretty. I had a crazy day that day. Didn't get very much stitching done, but I got that much. And it's just, I started in the middle, so it's right here in this blue fabric that's hanging down. This sheet comforter. I don't know. Her, her bedding is falling off the bed. Autumn Garden. Drawn Thread Autumn Garden, I think, is my October piece. I'll be working on that more in October. Sleeping Princess was an extra piece. It doesn't have a monthly assignment, so that one might get, might have to wait a little while to get done. May 10th was a whip left from last year's Mania, Twisted Band Sampler, which you've been seeing regular updates of. Because I was trying to finish it by Mania and I didn't make it. After Mania is over, I think this will become my new, you know how I worked on Shores of Hawkrun Hollow for the first 30 to 60 minutes every day when I sat down to stitch, I think. This one is going to be the, and I finished that in case you missed it in April. I think this is going to be the new one that I just work on for 30 to 60 minutes every day when I sit down to stitch, if I can. Let's put this behind and see if that helps. But I did work on it for a couple of hours on the 10th and almost finished this medium green cross stitch row the next the second half of this cross stitch stripe will be the light green then the next specialty stitch row is the light green and the light blue and that's where we hit the corner and the diagonal start to get smaller hallelujah all right may 11th saturday i worked on red door because I knew I wasn't going to have very much time to stitch that day, so I picked a small, one of my small ones. This is what it looks like. Little Leaf Designs by Elizabeth's. Down here, I don't know if you can see it. It says Elizabeth's Designs. The red door. Comes with the cute little cat charm. And it came with the red floss to do the door, but this floss wasn't very... Um, the colors didn't change. The variegation wasn't very variegated. What am I trying to say? In that particular dye lot. So I chose some bandana classic color works that I had. And that was all I did. It was part of the door. But for my mania, as I explained, I'm going to be doing... All of these will get another day on them. When I get to the... I have 19 pieces, so after 19... On the 20th, I'm just going to go back to number one and give them all one more day, which will get me into June 7th. Because I just feel like they all need one more day. And we're celebrating Mania for all of May, right? So that will just continue the celebration on. All right, May 12th was a whip. Is a new whip that I added to my Mania plans this year, but it is a whip because I had five. I always do five whips as part of my Mania plans. And it is called Shepherd's Fold. Hang on. <laughs> this is by Shepherd's Bush. 
it was a collection of patterns. Oh goodness. Okay. It's a box. It's a round box lid with a whole bunch of smalls that go inside. So the box lid itself is called a full heart. And I have already finished the box lid. And let's see if I can find it. Not that this one. And I have always also already finished the pin cushion pillow, which is called Goodness and Grace. I just I haven't fully finished it, but I finished the stitching. So I still have Watch me drop all this on the floor. I still have the scissor fob to do, which is called My Home Bob that goes with this set. And I still have the needle roll to do called Fear Not, which goes with this set. And I still have the needle book to do that's called Cherish Life that goes with this set. And then I also have the ruler holder called Reach. And the ruler holder is what I started on next. That's what I'm working on right now. I would love to get these done. I just don't think it's going to happen, but... I get six weeks off in the summer from my job. My last day of work is school ends May 30th, Thursday, May 30th. And then I work a couple more weeks into the summer, getting stuff ready for the next year and closing out the end of this year. So I work till June 14th. And then going to StitchCon the next week. I will be out there from June 20th to June 30th because I'm doing a couple other things while I'm out there. StitchCon is just the 27th through the 30th, and then I'm coming back. And then I have all of July off, a couple of big family trips, but all of July off. And then I have to be back to work on July 31st. It's usually August 1st, but um, this year it's July 31st. And then I think school starts on August 20th, but it takes us all of the month of August to get ready for school to start. So I would love to have this finished so that I could do the the fully finishing over the summer while I'm home. But I just don't know if I can make that happen. Because fully finishing is not my favorite thing, Vanna. Not. I wish you were closer and I could just come over and say, okay, uh, I this is driving me nuts. How do I do this part? It takes me a while to figure it out. I have to read the instructions, read the instructions again, read the, oh, it's not my favorite thing. So I take daytime hours, not after work hours. So I like to do those in the summer where I can think straight for several days in a row. All of these pieces in this, you buy them all separately. They all went together, but they were sold separately. I think originally you got one piece per month if you joined the Shepherd's Fold um, Club. They would automatically mail it to you one. And then after it was all over, they had them available in their store for a while. And you could just go, which is what I did afterwards. I went and just bought all of the pieces. I have no idea if they still have any of these pieces or if they still have all of them. Um, you'd have to ask them. Shepherd's Bush, you'd have to call and ask them. They don't list everything on their website, so you'd have to call and ask. But each kit came with a little piece of fabric in it to do that little thing. And I don't stitch in hand and the pieces of fabric were quite tiny. So my friend Sandra and I in Salt Lake were talking about how we could stitch it without having to stitch on these little pieces of fabric. And we came up with this brilliant idea that we should sew all the pieces of fabric together and make it one big piece of fabric and then stitch each piece on it. So I did that. I had to make myself a map so I would remember what each piece of fabric was for after I had sewed them all together. So this is my map telling me which goes where. And you can see that and it's on my scroll rods. This is the box top that I had already finished. This is the reach ruler that I'm working on, that I worked on last night. It needs something behind it, doesn't it? So 
I got quite a ways on the ruler because it had just it just had maybe two rows of this hill in it when I started. And then I you can kind of see one of the scenes here. I just surged all these pieces of fabric together kind of in a big square. It's very interesting, but it's working. It's working. Okay. And that was yesterday and I haven't and I'm not showing you today's yet because I didn't start on it yet. It'll be the March card for my fun everyday calendar by Sam Sarah. Because we are going to go visit my mother-in-law tonight for Mother's Day. We didn't see her yesterday, so we're going to go see her tonight. So I knew I wouldn't have very much time to stitch tonight. For haul, I got the cutest card, a birthday card from Diana Zaslow. She has a YouTube channel called Diana Zaslow. You need to watch her YouTubes, her floss tubes. She's awesome. It was a very cute card. And she sent me some wonderful goodies in the card. So sweet of her. Thank you, Diana. I can't wait to meet you at StitchCon. That will be so exciting. We have discovered that we have quite a bit in common <laughs> it, with stitching and outside of stitching. <laughs> All right, for my old, old finish, I have this book called Jim Shore Monograms, and it's got every letter of the alphabet, very similar to that one. You can, it gives you um, a pattern to make it into a sampler. Or on the back, it shows you how you could make it into a word or your initials or a pillow, lots of ideas. But the, it's just um, a page for every letter and the design for the letter. And I chose B for Brenda. I just did one letter. It is Mill Hill Jim Shore collaboration book. So it does have lots of, here's what it looks like. It has these Jim Shore buttons in the corner. I don't know if I can show you so that you can see the beads. It has a lot of purple beads in it. There's green and purple on the swirlies. And then just about a million colors of red in the bee itself. <laughs> mm. But that was fun. I enjoyed stitching that. It was several years ago. I don't know if this book is still in print. It says Jim Shore at the top, but it says Mill Hill at the bottom. Monograms. Um, I'm going to see if it had a copyright date really quick. I don't see one. Oh, 2011. The copyright is 2011 by Mill Hill. And what I wish I was stitching on, in the July-August 1990 Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine by Better Homes and Gardens, it was one of the ones that had a stocking on the front. This is the garage workshop, workshop stocking. Like if you're Santa and you're in the your workshop or your garage making something. This was the one I sewed for my husband. It's his pattern I used for his stocking. They had this series of houses that they're so pretty. It's feeling like summer here finally and it's making me think of this. So it's this house. Um, I don't feel like this is a very good picture of it. This is the, It's kind of at an angle and it's very washed out. I think these colors are prettier. I love all three houses, but I like this one the best. And it's called, it's, it was a series. This was the third month, so the very end of the series. It's called Collector Series Cottage Gardens. As is quite often in magazines, it does not list a designer. But I thought that was cute. I would love to be stitching on that today, even though I'm still very excited to work on all my mania stuff. All right, I think that's everything. I hope you have a fabulous day in May, and I hope you get lots of stitching done and that it brings you joy like it does to me. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.